Hello all and welcome back to my channel JS Lab. In today's video, we will discuss about Python operators. So operators are used to perform operations on variables and values which are uh, used in our program. And in Python, you can divide the operators into, into following group. So these are the different operators in Python. Arithmetic operators, assignment operators, comparison operators, logical operators, identity operators, membership operators, and bitwise operators. We will discuss each of these operators in detail with example. So we will start with arithmetic operators. So arithmetic operators includes plus, minus, that means addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, to find the modulus to find the exponent and to do the floor division. Addition, we use plus symbol. Subtraction, you use minus symbol. Multiplication, into and division plus symbol. So we will do uh, division with all others are known to us. Okay, so if you 5 divided by 4, it, it will give 1.25 as the output. Now about the modulus. This symbol, the percentage symbol is used to find the modulus. Modulus means the remainder. For example, 5 modulus of 5 modulus 4 will give 1. So 1 will be the remainder. If you divide 5 by number 4, remainder will be 1. Then the exponent, for example, you need to find 2, 2 raised to 3. 2, for that you can use double star to 3. Okay. It is equivalent to 2 cube, which is 8. Now the floor division. The floor division returns the quotient, that means the answer, uh, if you divide the answer after division, in which the digits after the decimal points are removed. Okay, so if you do 5, so uh, the symbol for this one is this one, double slash 4. So floor division of 5 and 4 will give the result 1. So this uh, 0.25 is removed and that is a floor division. So these are the arithmetic operators in Python. They are used with numerical values to perform common mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, find the modulus, find the exponentiation and do the floor division. Next operator is assignment operators. Assignment operators are used to assign values to a variable. So some of them we have already uh, used in our previous videos. We will see all that one. First of all, equal to. Equal to we, we know. So x equal to 5 means you are assigning value 5 to a variable x. Next is x plus equal to 5. So this is equal to, this is equivalent to x is equal to x plus 5. x is equal to x plus 5. So x plus equal to 5 means it is equivalent to x equal to x plus 5. For example, we will do, we will assign a value x equal to 10. Then x plus equal to 5 means x is equal to x plus 5. That means you, your answer should be, if you print x, your answer should be 50, 10 plus 5. So you have 10 initially, then you have added 5 to that, x is equal to x plus 5. So you got 15. So that is the meaning of plus equal to. In the same way, x minus equal to means equal to 5. That means x is equal to x minus 5. Okay. So if you print x, it will give 10. So x is having a value of 15. So from that 15, you have uh, reduced 5. So 15 minus 5, 10. This is equivalent to x is equal to x minus 5 okay same way you can have this one x multiplication equal to 5 this means x is equal to this is equivalent to x is equal to x into 5 it means uh, if you print x if you print the x the output will be 10 into 5 50 so you'll get 50 so 10 is the value here 10 is the value of x then you this is equivalent to x is equal to x into 5 so 10 into 5 50 next one same as division uh, for division you can have x slash equal to, that is division equal to 5 this is 
equivalent to x is equal to x divided by 5. So, x is having a value of 50. Now, if you divide by 5, you will get the value. You should get the value 10. So, print x, you should get the value 10. So, you got the value 10. In the same way, you can do for modulus. Okay. x modulus equal to 3. This is equal to, this is equivalent to x is equal to x modulus of 3. So, print x, you will get the value 1. It means 10 divided by 10 modulus of 3, the remainder is 1. So, for floor division, you can do x equal to, so we will change the value to x is equal to 10. Okay, so because 1, uh, it has reached the value 1, x is equal to 10. Then x equal to 3. Okay, this is equivalent to x is equal to x floor division 3. And if you print the value, it will be 3. So, uh, that decimal point will be removed. That is the floor division. Now, x double star equal to 2. Meaning is that this is equivalent to x is equal to x square. Okay. So, if you print the value of x, you will get 9. So, x is the value 3, 3 square, 9. So, these are the uh, assignment, main assignment operators in, in Python. So, this will be helpful when you write long programs. This type of assignments will reduce the effort. Next operator is comparison operators. In order to compare two values, we use comparison operators in Python. First one is you need to check whether two values are equal. So, for that you can use double equal symbol okay so we'll put x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 20 and we put x double equal to y so it is false so it compares 10 and 20 and checks whether 10 is equal to or x is equal to y here 10 is less than 20 therefore x is not equal to y therefore it gives the output as false next one is not equal to for for example x for not equal to you can use this symbol not equal to opposite to the previous one not equal to y if you click run yes it is true because 10 is not equal to 20 so it gives the output true next is greater than and less than that we uh, know we have already seen for example x less than y if you check it is true if you put x greater than y and run it is false so it compares two values also greater than or equal to you can check x greater than or equal to y click run it is false x less than or equal to y it's true so these are the comparison operators in python so equal to not equal greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to so, using these uh, operators, you can compare two values. Next is logical operators. So, in some cases, we need to combine the conditional statements. For that, logical operators are used. Logical operators are AND, OR, AND, NOT. AND, OR, AND, NOT. That's why it turns to, those are uh, keywords. That's why it, it turns to green while you type. Okay. So, we will see AND first. So, AND returns true if both the statements are true. Okay. So, here we have already, uh, we already discussed x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 20. We will see. I will put x less than y and x greater than 100. Okay. So, it is false. So, AND means x less than y, it is true, but x greater than 100, it is false. So, both, if both are true, it will return the value true. If any one of them is false, it returns false. So, AND returns true if both the statements are true. So, you can compare two statements using AND. Now, the same thing, you use OR operator. So, OR operator returns true if one of the statements is true or 
if you put run you can see it is true because th this one is true even if this is false if any one of them is true or both are true it will give the output true next is not not operator reverses the result it returns the false if the result is true okay so for example here we got the answer as true so what i am going to do is i am going to put not okay not of this result so i am going to get false here why because this statement's output is true and it's uh, now it, since i have applied not operator here it will give the result false so not operator reverses the result that means it re re returns false if the result is true so these are the logical operators in python so it is used to compile conditional statements and it will be very helpful while we deals with loops next one is identity operators in python so identity operators in python they are used they are also used to compare the objects but it is not to compare whether they are equal greater than something but if they are actually the same object or if they are having the same memory location for that we use is and is not is and is not first we will discuss is operator so is operator returns true if both variables are the same object okay so i'll put x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 6 okay we give two variables x equal to 6 and y is equal to 6 click run then i am checking whether x is y click run yes true so it returns true if both variables are the same object so here that is correct now x is not is not y click run it is false so it returns true if both the variables are not the same object see x is not y means false because x and y are same object and same memory location so these are the, uh, the is and is not are python identity operators it is used to compare the objects but not to compare the equal to or greater than but it verifies whether they are actually the same object or they are having the same object with same memory location next operator is membership operators membership operators are used to test if a sequence is present in an object or if an object is present inside something etc in and not in in and not in are the operators which comes under membership operators first we'll discuss in so in operator returns true if a sequence with the specify value is present in the object so we'll see with an example x is equal to 5 4 3 3 2 1 okay run now i have created uh, x variable in that 5 4 3 2 1 are present now i need to see whether 5 is present in s 5 in x yes it gives true because 5 is present in the uh, variable x now i am putting 10 in x it returns false because 10 is not present in the variable x that I have created now we'll see not in 10 not in x it is true because 10 element 10 is not present in the variable x for not in x it gives false because 4 is present in x so in and not in are python membership operators and in returns true if a sequence with specified value is present in the object and not in returns true if a sequence with specified value is not present in the object next and the last one is bitwise operators bitwise 
operators are used to compare binary values binary numbers so for that we use and and symbol or xor not zero fill left shift and signed right shift not zero signed right shift so these are the python bitwise operators ampersand symbol which represent and or xor not then zero fill left shift and signed right shift so we'll start with and and operator sets each bit to 1 if both bits are 1. For example, we will see 10 and 7. So if you put run, it gives 2. So what happens behind is that 10, the binary value of 10 is 1010. And uh, the binary value of 7 is 111. Okay, so what happens here it will be 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Now, when you put 10 and 7, it is equal to 1, 0, 1, 0 and so these compare these two binary values. So, what happens? The Python bitwise operator returns 1 and operator returns 1 if both the bits are 1. Otherwise, it leaves 0. So, the first case, here it is 1, here it is 0. So it will uh, give the result as give the result as one. I'm uh, sorry, zero. Next one, zero and one. Again, you will get zero. Third case, one and one. So you'll get one. And fourth case, zero and one. You'll get zero. So zero, zero, one, zero. So which the zero, zero, one, zero is the binary num binary number which is equivalent to the number two. That's why you got the value 2 as the output so bitwise operator will uh, bitwise operator and returns 1 if both the bits are 1 otherwise it gives 0 ok so that is the first case next one is OR operator so bitwise OR operator returns 1 if any of the bits is 1. If both the bits are 0, then it returns 0. Both the bits are 1, it gives 1. Any of the bits are 1, again it gives 1. If both the bits are 0, it will return the value 0. We will see an example, the same example. 10 or 7. Okay. If you put, you will get the value 15. So, what happens here? The 10 binary number of 10 is 1010. 10. You put or then 111 so it will be 0 here so the answer will be it will compare 1 and 0 you will get 1 second element 0 and 1 again 1 then 1 and 1 again 1 0 and 1 1 1 1 1 1 that is the answer so 1 1 1 1 is equivalent to the value 15 in decimal it is 15 that's why you got the value 15 so bit bitwise or operator returns 1 if any of the bits is 1 and if both the bits are 0 then you will get the it returns the value 0 third bitwise operator is XOR so python bitwise XOR operator will return 1 if one of the bits is 0 and other bit is 1 if both the bits are 0 or 1, then it returns 0. So, you will see an example. 10. So, our symbol is this one. It is to 7. Okay, if you put that one, you will get the value 13. So, what happens behind means, we know 1010 is the binary number equivalent to uh, 10. And 111 is the binary number equivalent to 7. Okay. And it compares. So we need, we need it returns one if one of the bits is zero and other bit is one. So here you can see one bit is zero and other bit is one, it will give one. So first case 
you will get 1 second case 0 and 1 that means uh, uh, first case 1 and 0 1 again 0 and 1 1 if both are 1 it will give 0 and again 0 and 1 you will get 1 1 1 0 1 so 1 1 0 1 is the answer so 13 is the decimal number equivalent to the binary number 1 1 0 1 so that is a bitwise soar operator so bitwise soar operator returns 1 if one of the bit is 0 and other bit is 1 if both the bits are 0 or 1 it will returns 0 that is a soar next is bitwise complement operator so once complement operator so python once complement operator for example of a number a is equal to the negation of a plus 1 for example okay for example i will we'll see for 10 okay so negation of once complement operator of 10 we get the value minus 11 so the meaning is it is like this okay first of all uh, when you are doing 10 means you are doing uh, the ones complement of 1010 10, which is the binary equivalent then which is equivalent to minus of 1010 10, you are adding 1 okay where you will get the answer as minus of 1011 10, and 1011 10 is the answer so one uh, the decimal equivalent of 101 10 is minus uh, is 11 so minus 11 one one. that's why you got minus 11 one one as the answer so 11 one one is the decimal equivalent of 1011 one one binary so this is bitwise once complement operator then the next one is bitwise left shift shift operator bitwise left shift operator in python it shifts the left operand bits towards the left side for the given number of times in the right operand. Or in simple words, we can say binary number is changed with zeros at the end. So the binary number is changed or modified with putting zeros at the end. So we will see with an example 10. This is a symbol for bitwise left shift operator. This is a bitwise left shift operator. Then put 2. Then you put run, you will get 40. So what happens is that the binary equivalent for 10 is 1010. Since you have put a left shift operator and the value of 2, it will add two values here, two zero values here. And the decimal number corresponding to 101000 is 40. That's why you got the value as 40. Okay. So if you modify this one to 3, 3, then if you put you will get 80. That means 1010 is the decimal uh, binary equivalent for 10. Then you have put left shift of operator and 3. So you put, it, will, it will put 3 zeros. So the decimal equivalent for this binary number is 80. That's why you got the value as 80. Next is bitwise right shift operator. So the right shift operator in Python is exactly opposite to the left shift op operator that we have just discussed. The right side bits are removed. So in right shift operator, the right side bits are removed. That is what is going to happen. So we'll see with an example 10. This is the right shift operator 2. So if you put run, you will get the value of 2. So what happens is that 1010 is the binary number equivalent to 10, decimal number 10. Binary number a number equivalent to 10. Since you have put 2 after the bit the right shift operator. It will remove the remove these two these two things will be removed so what happens that 1 and 0 will be removed okay 1 and 0 will be removed and the remaining is 10 and the binary num uh, the decimal number equal to 10 is 2 that's why you got the value okay so that is a bitwise right shift operator 
so we have just discussed the bitwise operators which is and or sor once complement operator left shift operator and right shift operator so in this video we have discussed different operators used in python and we have also discussed in detail with example the arithmetic operators assignment operators comparison operators logical operators identity operators membership operators and at last bitwise operators so if you have any comment or suggestion please write in the comment section and if you like my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos we will see you in the next video bye thank you